again and today I'm going to be doing a quick first look at The Man Without a Heart by Ruby M. Ayers and I like I'm looking at the actual like condition of the book and the cover uh, right now on this and it's really quite worn out like the the side here is like a yellowish orangish color whereas the front and the back are like a reddish color and like it really the bottom here it says Grosset and Dunlap which is really almost illegible here and up top barely legible is the man and then without a heart by Ruby M. Ayers and like the actual book itself has a lot of like weird stains to it and it's really quite old and it has an interesting little uh, detail here like a, like a design to it um and then when I go to the first page here this was apparently from the Milan Public Library, November 1926, is what is written on this right here. If I understand correctly, this particular book, um, it is mentioned as a book that was like another book by Ruby M. Ayers and the Phantom Lover, and that one is from, I think, 1921. So I believe that this book was probably published by 1921, or at the latest. So I think that this is actually an er like an earlier book than 1926, so it is possible like maybe this was a latter edition or something. Um, and then here it's uh, there's another page that says The Man Without a Heart, Ruby M. Ayers, and the it's really quite falling apart. I got this like secondhand, I think, off of Etsy. Um, and then here is like the title page that says The Man Without a Heart by Ruby Ann Ayers, author of The Romance of a Rogue, The The Madison Marriage, The Scar, etc. And the New York Grosset and Dunlop Publishers made in the United States of America. And then the next page it says The Man Without a Heart be printed in the United States of America. Then the the man without a heart. Well these pages look they're very brown, like they're more like, they're showing, I think, more signs of age than the Phantom Lovers were. And then it goes to, like, the actual story itself. It doesn't have a date of, pub like, it doesn't have a date of publication within the book itself, other than, like, a note on the front page about, um, about it being Milan Public Library, November 1926. So, but I know from the Phantom Lover that this most likely was published before, like, by 1921 at the latest. Um... And then here it says, the books you, like, when I go to the very back page, um, it says, the books you like to read at the price you like to pay. There are two sides to everything, including the wrapper, which covers every Grasset and Dunlop book, which notably is missing. Um, when you feel in the mood for a good romance, refer to the carefully selected list of modern fiction comprising most of the successes by prominent writers of the day, which is printed on the back of every Grasset and Dunlop book wrapper. You will find more than 500 titles to choose from, books for every mood and every taste and every pocketbook. Don't forget the other side, but in case the wrapper's lost, write to the publishers for a complete catalog. There's a Grosset and Dunlop book for every mood and for every taste. And then, oh, this is very interesting how this aged. Like, there's a big, like, dark stain here where this was pressed against this, which created a discoloration. That's very interesting. Um, and then here is like what looks to be like a library, a place for to put a library card in, but it's got like stuff written here in pencil. January 13th, and then July 9th, January 22nd, September 11th, February 3rd, October 15th, February 12th, November 11th, February 26th, May 19th, April 2, April 30, May 14, June 4, June 18. So those I suppose those are dates that it was either checked out or returned at. It's odd that it's written on the front here instead of, like, wouldn't there, like, there's a place for there to be stuff, like, a card to go in there, so it's interesting that it's missing. Um, so that's that. Like, I wonder how this ended up, like, no longer being at a library. Oh, this also, like, when I'm looking, like, I opened it to a random page and there's, like, clearly an issue of something there. Like, there's a raised part on the paper so this is <sighs> like how do i put this like i i like ruby m Ayers books and these are quite old and so i'm not necessarily able to get a, a copy that's in like better condition 
than this, but I do feel kind of like, wow, these are not in the greatest condition and kind of bad about the fact that like reading them, these are going to, it's going to destroy the book further. Like it's going to damage it further and it's already in such bad condition. But at the same time, like this is over a hundred years old and there are very limited copies anyways. So I'm stuck going with the copies, whatever I can get my hands on essentially. So, and it was, it's, it's sad to think about like just um, how many books are like in really bad condition and that are probably never going to get another, like what's the word that like might just end up falling apart and being like unusable um, because this was not terribly expensive and from like an online secondhand seller. So it's like, I guess good that someone came along to buy it, but at the same time, it's like this it's very um it's kind of sad <laughs> like there's so few copies and they're rather cheap and not in good condition so it's like how much literature is going to basically disappear like before someone records it it's, it's sad to think about so yeah this was just a first like just a first look at the physical copy of the book so yeah have a great day and tune in for me actually reading the text bye